So, so far this one looks as good as the pictures. So nothing that stands out as absolutely amazing, but I'm not seeing defects or anything of that nature. discoloration from the paint touch up over there but not that noticeable probably just paint that one wall and you wouldn't notice floors from what I can see look great Wayne's coating Tasteful. Fireplace looks to be gas. Controls there to the side. Half bathroom. Not a huge fan of the mural, but it doesn't look bad. Tops are tile instead of granite or corian or any of the normal materials, but it looks good, it's presentable. Matches the tile floor well. tight fit, but you might be able to fit two vehicles, but you could definitely fit one in the motorcycle without any problems. Pantry. Stainless appliances. Matching Frigidaire Professional Series. Refrigerator is clean, so that's a plus. Looks like they might have had something underneath it here previously that might have leaked because I think it might be a little bit of sag in the wood, but they have done something to address it. Looks like the disposal is relatively new and the J-trap and plumbing looks to be in good condition. A little bit of touch up on the cabinets would go a long way. Uh, they're not in any way, shape or form in bad condition. basement next this does have drop ceiling but this is a very nice drop ceiling hardwood floor room does have carpeting.
closet inside the mirror. Water heater is at least relatively new, if not very new. Yeah, 22, so it's very new. It's gas. Heat appears to be gas. And that is also very new, 2019. I think we already knew that they were both relatively new, but that's verifying that, which is, again, that's a big plus in my opinion. Major expenses you don't have to worry about. Laundry area, matching units. workout area back here. Mirrors make it look a little bit bigger than what it is, but it is a decent size room. Additional storage with the mirror covered closets. More hardwood floors. With a nice bar area and sink. Another full bathroom. Not the absolute most modern, but not old. It's clean. Again, hardwood floor for most of the area, or half of the basement, I would say. The carpet that is here is clean and in good condition so far from what I've seen. room. I guess this is set up as another office currently. It does have pretty nice hardwood floors. Doesn't quite match the downstairs with the finish, but it looks to be about the same size oak planks. Again, normal two-door closet for the closet area. some sort of patch on the ceiling there or not on the ceiling but at the ceiling at some point not really sure what that's from right there I don't know if you can see it it's not really that noticeable again two-door closet hallway full bathroom with a dual vanity Tile enclosure on the shower. Again, pretty clean. Definitely usable. Caulking is not bad. Maybe a little bit of touch up might be good. But overall, not bad at all. Tile floor. A little bit dated, but definitely fully functional. It doesn't look bad by any means. Additional storage upstairs. Two doors. Not really big enough to make it into a laundry area, unfortunately. Coming into the primary suite. Larger furniture. So it makes it look a little bit more 
crowded than what it actually is probably. It does have a very nice walk-in closet. Goes around the corner just a little bit further. So it's like an additional closet in the closet. And then we have the primary bath here. Again with a garden tub, no whirlpool. Another double vanity. And a shower. Again, this place is pretty clean. One of the cleaner places I've shown in the last couple weeks, to be entirely honest. And one nice touch is there's like an additional seating area that I'm sure could be converted into another room if necessary. But this is uh, has uh, not quite French doors, but some sort of bifold doors separating it from the primary suite and then an additional door from the hallway still has its own double door closet so it could be treated as an additional bedroom if you'd like or it could just be kept as a seating area as it is currently without a lot of people in the house that could be a, a nice benefit for you go outside take a quick walk around the neighborhood is very nice it's landscaped well has beautiful grass you definitely pay to have it treated and professionally cut all the edging and everything is pretty nice it looks like it's due to be cut soon but you can tell it's very well maintained the neighborhood is very beautiful Sorry for the glare. They do have quite a security system here, but it doesn't look like it's necessarily necessary. Exterior of the house is brick, so obviously relatively low maintenance. They do have a whole house generator currently. There is essentially a house kind of behind the house. I know sometimes people don't like that, but I wanted to sort of make sure that was noted. Exterior of the house is also in very nice condition. Roof is also very new from what I remember. Again, the landscaping is very tasteful, not overwhelming, it looks great. I'll have to check into whether or not you can have a fenced yard. It is a somewhat odd shape 